my heart for this tonight was to open up and to bless the community because I know that people are hungry and people are hurting. Am I right? Some of you are like massively hungry. You're like parched. And some of you are like really, really hurting. And God knows that. And some of you are just like both. <laughs> You know, I, I, this is a very proclamatory kind of song, and yes, it is warfare, but we're making a declaration in the heavenlies of where you stand in Christ. Because sometimes we have all this warfare that's going on, and we tend to forget who we are, and then we can't fight anymore. It's not about you and your perfections or imperfections. It's about what Christ did. On the cross. And tonight it's time to get that sword out. And it's time to decapitate the enemies of God. Come on now. There's some there's some head chopping we need to do tonight. Chop, 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 chop. Yes. So you ready? Alright, one more time.
worship and warfare a little bit more deeply. And, and, and I need worship. I'm a worshiper. You know, and sometimes I get knocked over. But I'm not going to stay there. I'm going to get back up on my feet. Okay, God, I made a few mistakes. I'm going to get back up. One of the worst things that the enemy does is he brings condemnation, condemnation, condemnation. But the blood of Jesus erased all of that condemnation. So that you can come to the Lord with confidence. And that's all we're doing tonight. Not because we're perfect in any way, but because of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. What is your name? Ryan? Ryan, the Lord is saying, son, that I have picked you out from a long time ago. I have set you apart and I've set you aside. The Lord says that I'm stirring a brand new fire inside of you. I'm stirring deep inside of you. And the Lord says you've tasted both worlds. You've tasted a little bit of some of the things in the world and you've tasted God. But the Lord says I allowed you to taste that so that you could see what the better taste is so that you'll never run away from it. And the Lord says that I'm increasing your palate and you're going to you're going to become even even more hungry, hungrier, more hungry. And the Lord says that it's almost going to feel like you're starving, but the Lord says you're not going to starve. The Lord says I'm going to give you not only the word, but the revelation is a whole new realm of revelation is opening up to you. And the Lord says that you see, and the Lord says that you discern, and the Lord says you have seen my face. I don't know if you've had some dreams or whatever of the Lord, but the Lord is saying that I'm causing my face to come even shine, to shine even brighter. And the Lord says that even as you gaze, you gaze, you're a gazer, you're a seer and a gazer, and as you gaze, all of these things around you, because there's been warfare, all these things around you are going to start to melt. Because to you, it's going to be like non-existent. The barriers, you're, you're a barrier jumper. There are no barriers for you. You don't see barriers. All you see is the way of the Lord. The enemy tries to pull you back. But you're like, no, I have authority. I can go. So what's holding me back? I'm sorry, baby. Put my hand in front of it. So you are a jumper of barriers. You pray about that and ask the Lord what that really means for you. Because you're going far. You're a runner. And the Lord is causing you to far surpass even those that are older than you. Even at a young age, the wisdom of the Lord that is permeating and cultivating inside of you. And as the wisdom of the Lord grows, you know how they said to Jesus, you know, because he grew in the wisdom of the Lord? You know, people just came and they sat down at his feet because he had authority. Power and authority has been given to Ryan to conquer principalities. I'm not talking about these little devils over here that can cause depression stuff. I'm talking about the big stuff. And that's going to take some massive dedication. But the Lord's already seen it inside of you. He's declared it. And I'm proclaiming that to, as a confirmation tonight in Jesus' name. Give me a high five.